The Dow and the S&P 500 traded up today, well up, uh, above the 50-day uh, moving average for a while, but closed back down below the 50-day moving average. Traded positive, but gave up most of its gains. Stochastics flattening out. Whereas we still have the opportunity that if it starts failing here, the 200 is way down here someplace, that they could start selling this off aggressively. And as long as we're kind of in this trading range, we may at best, until they can close it up above the 50 and break out through this level, we could be trading in a sideways mode. Now, obviously that would not be unusual for the summertime. But uh, right now, uh, we're staying long, but we're very, what do I want to say, very tentative as far as staying long. We might want to reverse those positions. The NASDAQ has been showing stronger uh, signs with gap ups here, stochastics coming up. But it still was also having a little bit of failure uh, or a little bit of trouble getting up above this level. Not that we're there yet, but with the shooting star type signal, if they start taking this down tomorrow, probably back to the 50 or the T line, if they start selling it off, that puts the uh, S&P 500 and the Dow index in jeopardy a little bit. For example, if they started selling off and after a kind of a shooting star failure at the uh, 50, again, this shows us the bulls were in control and then the bears took control doing a little shooting star. Even though we're not in the overbought condition, it's kind of giving us an indication of what's going on in investor sentiment. If things started selling off and the uh, Dow and the S&P 500 could not hold the uh, the uh, T-line, and the NASDAQ was coming back to test the T-line, allowing those two indexes to come through. That could start leading us uh, into a sell-off that would take us all the way down to this level. The uh, safest and most productive uh, uh, recommendations are still ones that are in patterns. Notice how we're in a fry pan bottom on our recommendation of SCTY. Did a morning star signal right here on the 50-day moving average at the same level it bottomed out before with indecisive trading, the doji. So we have a double bottom, fry pan bottom, and a close above the T-line, and we're breaking out through this little resistance level. Even though the market got soggy today, it's this type of uh, pattern breakout will still produce very good profits based upon we're just analyzing what's going on in investor sentiment. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.